And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new golden tickets. We had a few things to mention in the video as well. So. So open up the switch pack let's get in some of the news and then go over the golden tickets of course guys we have some pretty cool announcements and stuff like we did yesterday and i'll be going over all that in just a second let's open up the switch pack as usual let's get our ass real quick because we always know we get nothing out of these but joey bosa would have been cool in uh, august but it's okay so let's hop on over guys so first things first let's go over some of the news we'll wait for some of the golden tickets to come up as you guys do know as i went over yesterday soon we will be getting the series redux players and everything in game i believe we're getting it friday if i don't know oh. I think it was Friday, May 2nd or whatever it's going to be. That's when the series Redux come in the game. And we get a bunch of like a series update type stuff without actually getting a real series update. So be ready for that. As well as guys, I'm pretty cool. So we went over the team captain tokens yesterday. And as you guys do know, the team captain tokens are scheduled to be in game. I believe tomorrow potentially. And what they went over in the stream is pretty much they're going to do a makeup solos for all the people who didn't get team captain tokens all year. So for all you guys who are always asking like, you know, my Shazier is 92. How do I catch up to 99? they'll be dropping like 500 solos and it's just gonna be sitting there and you try to go through them. you can earn up to 10 so pretty much you can get any guy up from 90 to 99 because i'm pretty sure you only use the tokens well, yeah you, you only need about 10 so that'll be perfect even if you haven't even started yet go on ahead and go get it get your team captain tokens i'm one behind i only missed one token so i only have to play like three solos get them up to 99 but definitely go get that done guys it's very worthwhile for you guys to go ahead and do especially if you haven't gotten your uh, team captain up yet and specifically, if you want to get a new team captain, there's probably the time you can go re-roll your Shazier. Let's say you end up with another guy that you didn't want, like the wide receiver, Herman Moore. If you didn't want him, you really want Shazier now, you want to use the linebacker, go on ahead and go play the solos, get your tokens, and you can re-roll them now. I'm pretty sure you can always have reset them, but now it makes sense to do it when you have all these tokens in the game. You could, you could literally just mess around, see who you like, test them all out, you're going to have a ton of extra tokens. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, if you haven't already, and comment down below for anything else you guys want to add to this video. Let me know what you think of the golden tickets, and let me know what the odds are looking like today for you guys, because obviously none are up, and it's already been 20 minutes, which is kind of concerning that we don't see any golden tickets up yet. I'm going to refresh here and try again, but golden tickets, sometimes are the hardest video to make, because they're never up. They're never up. They're so rare to pull. Remember, guys, I dropped a million coins in Pony. I know Xerxes dropped, like easily easily like four million coins and maybe more actually four million coins probably some money on real bundles and he hasn't pulled anything yet i know uh a few guys i think cc did like a 17 million maybe didn't pull anything he's pulled a few though so it doesn't really matter point being is the ratio of coins spent like if you can buy me and zerk five to seven million coins right there without one golden ticket for a card that doesn't even go for that much very very concerning at this point we're gonna keep refreshing it though and if not we'll be right back so i don't waste your time but as far as the reduxes go for all you guys who didn't know when the reduxes do drop, you're going to be able to get a lot of LTD cards for a lot cheaper than they went for before. So be on the lookout for that. And new power-ups should be coming. Comment down below any power-ups you guys think we need to see in Madden. I want to get like a list going together. So let me know down below who deserves a power-up that no one's gotten in a while that you need for some good cards at this point in the year. But I'll be right back, guys, when the golden tickets are up. These could take quite a while considering the odds of pulling these. So, right, guys, so Mike Evans is up. I actually only took like a 10-second break. That went up instantly. Guys, this is one of my favorite golden tickets overall out of all the ones that are going to be dropping golden ticket mike evans cornerback this card is literally ridiculous like literally the most well-rounded cornerback you can have compare him to i compare him to night train lane so compared to night train lane same speed so they're both going to end up with 97 98 speed with john madden better excel that's a big difference right there agility's less that's the one bad thing about him that's it 99 jumping gonna be able to jump for any ball don't forget he's six foot five so night train lane with 97 jumping gets like i say this high Mike Evans, six foot five already is that high, plus the 99 jumping. Guys, if you throw near Mike Evans, like if you if you streak on Mike Evans and he's burnt by like a few inches and you think you're gonna throw that, he's jumping that, he's picking it. If you throw in front of him and trying to lead it over him, he's picking it. He's going to be such an annoyance on the field for the opposing team, considering when you when you think you have like a tight window read, even a decent he's kinda has like that Richard Sherman effect when you think you have him beat, but he has such long arms and such good uh like length and range that he can just pick it off anyways. And then he's got 99 play rec. So you ain't, you ain't tricking him. He's going to be ready for any play. Man covers 99. So you can blitz him. You can put him in man. You can send the house. And then you can play zone. He has a 99 zone too as well with lockdown. And he's going to have a 99 press as well. So you can press, man, zone, play rec, jump, 6'5". 
And guys, it gets even better. He's a he's a wide receiver, so his catching is an 89. On my team with John Madden, he will have a 90 catching. So he's gonna get ridiculous catching animations, maybe better than Deion Sanders. And it gets even better, as you guys can see, because he should have, I hope, maybe some hit. He has 91 catch in traffic, 90 spec catch, guys, and 78 hit power. This card is absolutely ridiculous, and he can even play wide receiver a little bit. I love this Mike Evans card. Guys, personally, if I just pick one golden ticket, I think I'd end up taking Mike Evans, him or one of the quarterbacks. As of now, Mike Evans' cornerback looks absolutely ridiculous, guys. If you, ha if you haven't scooped up, if you're planning on scooping up uh, any of these golden tickets, Mike Evans should definitely be in consideration. But next, we got Reggie White, guys. So, out of so far, Mike Evans is my favorite one. So, let's check out Reggie White. I know he's amazing, guys. This card is in 100 overall. No joke. 84 speed, 92 acceleration, 99 strength, 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 block shot, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move. I'm even going to talk about Kems. He is 99. Compare him to a left end right now that we got. We got Chase Young in here. Guys, just blows him away. Now, speed-wise, obviously, Reggie White isn't the fastest, but he's still fast enough. He's going to have an 87 speed with John Madden and like an 83, uh, 93 excel. 99 strength. Going to be the strongest guy on the line. 99 tackle. Not going not gonna to get broken on tackle. Play recognition, 99. Block shedding, 99. Power move, 99. Finesse move 99. Guys, this card is absolutely ridiculous. He doesn't even need chems to be good. This card is just great. Doesn't matter what team you put him on, he's going to be phenomenal. Impact blocking 98. This card's pursuit 99. He's chasing down quarterbacks. Injury 99 doesn't matter for uh, this. And 97 hit power, guys. Gonna be forcing fumbles. Now, this is a good. Now, these are two good ass golden tickets so far. They're getting better. Reggie White is ridiculous. Every He's in 100 overall. It's essentially what he is. And 100 overall best end in madden these guys are gonna cost a lot like i'm telling you reggie white is not gonna be cheap for a while this is the definition of end game he actually you actually can't get better than this the only way you can get better is if you had like a 95 speed but that's not ever gonna happen and if it does i probably won't be playing madden that long anyways because i'll be the, the two days before madden 21 drops but guys this card looks phenomenal i really 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 like this card so far if i had to choose so far to mike evans or reggie white that's tough I'm leaning towards, ooh, ooh, I don't know. I think Mike Evans will be more game changing in the fact that I can like, that he's just gonna piss people off. He's gonna get a lot of picks and force a lot of turnovers. But at the same time, Reggie White's going to be a fiend pass rushing. Maybe don't even let the pass off. It honestly comes out to who's cheaper. I like both of them pretty equally. I mean, pass rush is more important, but Mike Evans would be so much fun. I'm gonna probably, okay, I'll go with Reggie White for now. Reggie White won Mike Evans too, because Reggie White's stats are just, just gold. All 99, it's absolutely ridiculous. But, it, it guys I, I don't know like and let's wait let's go over some of their uh chems too so he does get pow power rusher too speed rusher and run stoppers that means you could probably get like inside stuff if you want which i personally probably wouldn't put on inside stuff is weird i've had some instances where, where like they instantly shed the, the block so it's like oh cool i'm in the backfield but when they inside shed they like pick themselves out of the play a lot and that's been a big issue with me with inside uh inside stuff I don't know if you guys have realized that. They instantly shed into the middle, and the running back goes around them because they, they literally went upfield and put themselves out of the play. That happens a lot. Maybe that's more just with defensive tackles. With the end, it'll probably be OP, but I've used it with defensive tackles before, and they put themselves right in the middle, and it's just too late. But with the end, they probably can shut off the whole edge and just destroy a run. Especially, like, they can come right in and stop it and chase him down. Especially, he's much faster than the defensive tackle typically is. But you could probably put edge start on him, inside stuff if you'd like, maybe reach elite maybe strip specialist there's so much good stuff you could put on this guy and then for mike evans same thing here he gets he gets let's see slot times four so i mean i'd probably put universal coverage on him uh i don't really know i'm not universe coverage acrobat maybe pick specialist i don't really know the cornerback ability so i don't really use them on cornerbacks too much but still very 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 good options now our final one's gonna be josh allen which should be up any second now All right, guys josh allen is up 91 speed, 99 throw power, 98 throw short, 99 throw mid, 96 throw deep, 93 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, 98 play action. Card's amazing. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep this nice and short for you guys. The video's gotten kind of long at this point, but compared to Mahomes, it blows away Mahomes. If you want to know what he is, he's Mahomes, just faster. That's all he's gonna end up being. Mahomes faster and a little bit more accurate, although Kems and Power put a guy in there anyways. So, 91 speed, gonna be the big game breaking change here. But again, I think I'd rather stick with Lamar or RG3. No, Lamar or Michael Vick, because they're going to be the same power, but a lot faster, a lot more game-breaking. Josh Allen's like the in-between. If you don't want, like, Lamar, but you don't want Mahomes or someone in-between, that'd be Josh Allen. Still great. It really depends on prices here, although it'd probably be pretty expensive. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of these golden tickets. Rank them down below for me. Let me know what you guys think in order of Reggie White, Mike Evans, and Josh Allen. Personally, for me... This, Josh Allen looks amazing. He looks like a he looks like a better Patrick Mahomes because he's gonna be a little bit faster, a lot faster actually, like ten plus speed faster with sprinter and everything. So he's looking better than Pat Mahomes. 
But at the same time, I think I'd rather go with Vic or Lamar. If I had to choose a running quarterback and they're both strong armed with these golden tickets when Lamar does come out. So in my opinion, I'd probably put Josh Allen last because he's not like game breaking. Like he's going to be good. He's going to be the best one of the like a top three quarterback, but he's not the best quarterback while Reggie White and Mike Evans will be the best cornerback and best left end duo. So if I had to choose, I'm going to put Mike Evans second only because of position like cornerback. You know, there's five people in the secondary. They don't have to throw to him. They could take a scheme him out. They could run the ball. But with Reggie White, he's going to be a part of the game. It's like it's like in the draft, right? Why do you draft that game breaking end? Because he's going to be able to make something happen every down that he is on defense. But guys, about it. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed today's video, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.